everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something a little different. It is going to be a makeup tutorial, but not on my face. It is going to be on this beautiful lady right here, Miss Brittany Brower. And Brittany will tell you where you might recognize her from. Well, you perhaps may recognize me from America's Next Top Model Cycle 4 and um, the all-star cycle, cycle 17, planned as you can see. Mm -hmm. And the gorgeous, beautiful, amazing Risa. Oh, thank you. Love her makeup. If you're watching this, obviously you do too. I'm gonna get a gorgeous glam after. So today, what I'm gonna do on Brittany is I'm gonna do a fun, like, girls' night out type makeup. I figured I'm gonna do like a, like a nice bronzy, smoky eye because that's just what I do best. I'm gonna use the new Lorac Mega Pro because I know a lot of you um, went out and bought that or are planning to get it. And if you, where are you going? I'm gonna oh, show them. Gonna show it. Okay. How beautiful. What you doing there? Um, <laughs> presentation. Do a little presentation. Okay. So yeah. So this is the beautiful Lorac Mega Pro palette. If you do not have it yet, it is still available as of today. Day, which I think is October 10th, you can still get it. I don't know if it's sold out online, but it was available. I was working at Ulta yesterday, at least the one here in Las Vegas. They had at least 20 to 30 still available. Okay, so yeah, so without further ado, um, let's get this tutorial started. You ready? I'm so ready. Let's do it. Cheers, Cheers, love. Start. Brittany has a completely clean face. We are completely makeup free. I am going to start with NYX or NYX. Everybody pronounces it different. I'm going to use the Angel Veil on her. She has really nice skin. She doesn't have large pores like you've seen me have. So that's why I use the Smashbox on myself, but she doesn't have that problem. Lucky me. Yeah, lucky you. So a little Angel Veil, because she's an angel, right? So for foundation, I'm going to be using Sephora's um, Airbrush Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. And I'm going to be using the shade Medium, and I'm gonna use a Beauty Blender. So you wanna shake this up really, really good. And what I do is I apply it to the Beauty Blender sponge. You can kind of see it like that. Oh, okay. And then I just work it into the skin. So you don't actually spray it on the face? No, no, no. You can. You you definitely can, but I feel like this is a more controlled application. Nice. You, I love an airbrush. I love it. And this is surprising. But I haven't like, done it with a sponge before, so it's interesting. Oh, yeah. The beauty blender is awesome. I have a really nice one. Come towards me for a second. Mm -hmm. Next is going to be, I've just recently, I've been experimenting with all my primers and I really love this one's from Wet n Wild. It's a cheapy primer. They raised the price though. It's gone from like $2 to like $5. But it's really, really good and I've been choosing it above my like Lorac and above my NARS. Wow. It's really good. It has, I don't, it's, it's better I think for somebody with maybe an oily lid. Um, a drier lid might prefer the NARS or the Lorac or something, but I just personally love wow. this one. Wow. Well, that's yeah. a good five bucks. Yeah, it's a bargain. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned this in my videos before. It's a good bargain. Oh, I need to get this then. Yeah, it's, I can't, the, because you can see that kind of the name has come off of it. Well, that means you're just using it a lot, which yeah. is a good sign, no, because I've it. bought many of primers that are still in full capacity that chart I've spent a lot oh, of yeah? money on, and they're in my makeup bag, and I've never... I don't use Oh my them. gosh, this is awesome. Your lids will stay, I mean your shadow will stay. Really? Lids. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh, I have the oiliest skin like a And this is a wet and wild? It is. That's it's amazing. like the Fergie thingy majigger. The Fergie. Totally pumped. Fergie. Uh, for brows, I'm going to use the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to use chocolate. Brittany usually uses brunette. I thought I had them all, but I do not have brunette. So we're going to put it, we're going to use chocolate and then we're going to kind of adjust it with some powder. So what I like to do is I like to brush all the brow hairs up first. The camera's gonna cut out. It usually cuts out after like 10 minutes. And then I, for some reason, I have to restart it. Um, oh my God, what happened? Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> Crisis is burning. <laughs> Crisis is burning. And I'm going to carve out, just give her a nice clean brow. Do you see like your brow's a little bit thicker or? I love a big fat brow. Oh, I wish I had that, but I, unfortunately, my 
my 90s childhood oh, made me tweeze the oh. heck out of them. So I'm a thin brow girl now. Well, they're not as thank, 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 Thanks eighth grade. <laughs> Beverly Hills smoke eyeshadow um, because I mentioned I don't, I don't have the brunette so the chocolate's a little bit um, red for her so I need to bring it back in a little bit of that ash so I'm using the, the powder to do that and the powder is also going to soften the brow so it doesn't look like penciled in I'm not a fan of the like the I don't know they call it like the Instagram brow is that you know when you see on Instagram like they have these brows that are just like almost look like photoshopped or completely um, drawn in. You know what? I like a natural brow. Yeah. It's always, it's always more beautiful. Oh yeah. And sometimes I see these pictures on Instagram that are so photoshopped. It's like it's like a painting, not actually a person's face. I'm sorry, but no man truly finds that attractive. No, I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. next up is going to be this Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil. It is eyeshadow slash primer and color corrector. I don't know what that means. I'm just going to use it as uh, kind of like her concealer to carve out the brow. Just to give it, you know, after I just said I don't like Instagram brows, but I do like. You want it to be clean. Yeah, it's I a like difference. A clean brow. Yeah. It's a difference. So I'm taking this. You want it to be nice, but yeah. you don't want the ones that look like you Photoshop your eyebrows. Yes. So I just took that underneath the brow and then I'm blending it down a little bit. That's probably totally blocking the board now. Oh, that is really nice. Oh, wow. I need to get that. Yeah, that, brow, that pencil. Yeah. That really makes it pop. So, I do uh, yeah. a light shadow for that, mm -hmm, but that's even mm -hmm. better. But I am gonna do. I am gonna put shadow there too. Right, but that's really clean. Yeah, I love that product. product. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna comment a lot during this video, <laughs> so I hope you guys don't mind. So what we are still gonna do, you know, powder, contour, and everything. I'm just gonna do the eyes first because that way, if we have any fallout, then we can clean up and then do concealer. So I'm just gonna do the eyes first. I'm gonna use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I know some people use brushes for this. I'm just gonna use my finger and put a little bit on her lid. You know, I think I'm gonna go zoom in for this. Okay. Okay, so going into the Lorac Mega Pro, I'm gonna use the Custard Shade, and I don't know what brush this is. It's a MAC brush, but as you can see, I've had it for a while and um, the number has worn off. But I'm gonna go into the custard shade and I'm just going to stamp underneath her brow. So I'm basically setting that Anastasia pencil that I placed. I'm gonna take the Tawny and Burlap, I hope I'm in the frame here. The Tawny and Burlap shades, I'm gonna go into both colors. We'll just put it here just in case. Yeah, so I went into both colors like that, tap off my excess, never blow on your brushes. Please never blow on your brushes. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those two colors and we're gonna go right in her crease and just blend back and forth. Go back in as necessary. I think that breeze feels good. Oh, now we just have the crease color done and the under the brow color done. And we're gonna move to another 
similar brush, but I think I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. I'm gonna use this brush. You guys know I love this one. It's from Scott Barnes. It's a crease brush. I don't know. I know he's coming out with brushes again. I don't know um, if this one's gonna come back, but I'm gonna go into the shade Saddle. So Saddle is gonna go in the outer portion of Brittany's eye. I'm bringing it a little bit along the lash line here, but only on the outer, the outer V portion of the eye. So notice I'm not coming onto the mobile eyelid and I'm not coming in the inner corner. I'm really concentrating just on this outer area right here. Blending down and out. Can I open for me? So we're already starting to see the smokiness come in. Turn towards me. And don't worry if you get color down here. That's why we didn't do concealer yet because we are going to clean that up later with a white. Okay, so now we have that smokiness in the outer corner, definition in the crease. Next up, I'm going to take this brush from Bare Minerals. It is the wet dry eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use the shade Penny from the palette. Oh, Penny. Penny. Got Saddle and Penny. Pick a Penny, pick it up. Find a Penny, pick oh. it up. Pick a Penny. <laughs> Find a Penny, pick it up. Uh, uh, you'll have Find a Penny, pick it up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, look down for me, I'm going to take this color and I'm going to press and slide it down the lid. Such a pretty color. So the sliding motion gives it more pigment. So instead of just kind of flopping the color everywhere, flopping, um, it gives it a more, in, more intense color payoff. That's what I do a lot is flop your eyeshadow. Well, <laughs> I have a, yeah, and I just kind of like mm -hmm. throw it on there, mm -hmm. but I don't use a flat brush. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yes. Okay. Yes. See, I'm learning too, guys. Yes, honey. I'm learning yes. too. That's, all right, I need one of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna take another flat brush. This is the Bedellium 773. I'm gonna go into the shade, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this, I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna go into the gold leaf color. Ooh, an unscripted moment. <laughs> an unscripted moment, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so let's see what the gold leaf is. It's the wine. It's the wine talking. It makes every moment unscripted. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Back, to Back, Back to work. Back to work. Back to work. Okay. So I'm going to just pop a little, just going to feel like it. I'm going to put a little gold in the center. I like it. Good. And then, yeah, once we clean up and everything. Yeah, we're not even clean yet. No, that's it's going to be awesome. Okay. Now, that flat brush thing is really, because I always want that look, and I don't know. I use like one of these kind of things, mm -hmm. jams on it, and it just lightens mm -hmm. it, you know what I mean? But I don't get that dramatic effect. Now we're gonna do, before we do her winged liner, we're going to kind of clean up under the eye and then add some concealer, because I've shown you this before where I use that kind of as a guide for my winged liner, the angle, sometimes I use tape. I gotta grab a white. Next up is going to be the NARS Radiant Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Okay, 
Okay, now we're going to take the Lorac Pro Contour Palette and I'm going to use the yellow highlight and the beige highlight. I like to mix. So I'm going into both. Look up for me. And we're going to set that concealer and also brighten her under eye area. Oh, this is my favorite category. Contouring, Highlighting and highlight. contouring. Yes. yes. Once we finish the eye, we're going to do some more contour. Okay, so with a flat brush, this is the Sigma Flat Definer E15. I'm going to go back into that shade Saddle. And I'm going to go underneath her lash line and, well, line. So I'm going to connect the shadow to the under eye shadow, the upper shadow to the under eye shadow. This is such a good brush if you're not good with um, being precise with your eyeliner. If the smudgier pencil brushes kind of make you feel like you look like a raccoon or that you got punched in the eye or something, this one is really easy to work with. Turn towards me. Look up. Now using a pencil brush, this is the MAC something, again the number has worn off. I'm going to go into the shade Prosecco and that's going to go in the tear ducts. We're going to use the Inglot Gel number 77, and I'm using the Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. This is very, very black. It's not the best for a beginner, I don't think, because it can be messed up easily because it is so pigmented. But it's pretty much the blackest eyeliner on the market. And I'm going to start with the outer corner of her eye. Angelina Jolie wing right there, baby. Yeah, close your eyes for me. Oh, yes. So, Brittany is currently, oh, I gotta like lower it because she's not in the frame. Oh, there okay. you go. Okay, so Brittany is currently obsessing over the NARS Audacious mascara sample I gave her. And I am. And I told, her, and I told her she could have it because the guy gave me it. two of them. But. She doesn't even need lashes, they look so good. Oh my gosh, I love this mascara. But you know what else I love even more? This eye makeup. Are you guys dying? You guys want to see our inspiration? What our, what Are you she, guys our inspiration dying? was? This lady right here. She saw my bag and she was like, oh, Sophia Loren. Um, I love hello. Sophia Loren. Hey, Sophia. So we thought we would do a Sophia Loren oh, look if you haven't guessed gorgeous. Where, we're, where we're going with this. Look at her on this side too. Can oh, yes. we do that hair too? I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I don't do hair. Sorry. No, I mean just in general. But we'll fluff up your hair when we're done. We'll make it all. We'll, we'll do the do. Yeah. Okay, so the lashes I'm going to use today because I want something like wispy and flirty. These um, are the Easy Elegance from the Vegas Nay Lash Collection from uh, Eyelore, I think is the name of it. I'm using some Duo Lash Glue. And I'm gonna wait for a second. Oh my gosh, you have good lashes to begin with. That's not fair. Now, FYI, I always do one lash way better than the other. Perfect. 
One comes I think that's out. what everyone does. You get cocky the first one and you screw up the second. One comes out. Or the first one you do awful and you learn. And then you're better on the second one. I think maybe having some wine makes me I better. always have to take one off eventually when I do it myself. How does that feel? Does it feel okay? feels actually seamless. Oh, perfect. Oh, it I don't seamless. feel it yeah. at all. Good. Oh, gosh, you know what? I might even be better when I've had some wine in me. Perfect. See, guys? You know what? Jesus drank wine and so do I. So we want to have, we've got her lashes on. We just touched up the little mess that she created under there, but it's all right. We'll keep her around. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take a little bit of this Ben Nye banana powder and a big fluffy powder brush and make a big mess here. And we're going to kind of not baking really, we're just setting the makeup. Getting a little hair there. I love this powder because it doesn't look cakey no matter what you do, it just kind of looks pretty. Okay, so now for a contour, I'm gonna use the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. It looks nice. Yeah, I'm gonna. I like it. I like the colors in it for fairer skin. I like it a little bit better than the Anastasia one. I just feel like the colors are a little bit better. I'm gonna use the um, light contour, and I'm gonna go, you know, in the usual contour places. I'm gonna do a little heavier at first, but it will get blended out. Okay, next up is a little nose contour. She doesn't need much, but we're gonna do just a little bit. Look towards me. So just gently, gently, gently. You always wanna make sure that your nose contour comes up a little bit into here so it doesn't look like um, it's coming out of nowhere. It has to look like it's your actual bone structure. Pretty, pretty. Okay. So now that we have contoured, we are going to go in with this new NARS Stephen Klein Connect collection. It is the holiday collection from NARS. I think this is limited edition. Limited edition, I can't speak. This is called Vengeful. It is going to come out a lot lighter than it looks, and this highlight is gorgeous. This is very pigmented, though. And the brush I am using is Laura Mercier. It's like a little travel blush brush. I just like it. It's soft and pretty. Love this color. It's so gorgeous. Mm, such a gorgeous the I highlight. Want oh my god, I know. Real Techniques um, setting brush, I think is what it is. I'm gonna go into that highlight shade. And we are just gonna go crazy. Mm, go crazy. Go crazy. Highlight those cheekbones. Highlight, yes. Come towards me. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, you're gonna die. So gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so the lips. Um, I'm gonna start with this lip liner from Essence. This is so cheap. This is like a dollar fifty. It's called Satin Mauve. And Brittany has gorgeous lips, so we don't need to go over line crazy. The lipstick I'm gonna use is the Rouge Artiste Matte number one from Makeup Forever. It's a really pretty kind of rosy nude. Okay, so for a final finishing touch, I'm going to use this Golden Gloss from Yves Saint Laurent. It's number one. I think this still exists. I think the number one is still the gold color. This is an older version. I think they're new glosses um, are a different packaging, but this number one is still the gold, I believe. I'm 
Talk to me. So that's it. This is the completed look using the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. We did kind of a golden, bronzy, smoky eye, heavy winged liner. Sophia Loren was our inspiration. I want to thank Brittany so much for being my beautiful model. Such an easy face to work on. Please thumbs up if you liked the video and want to see more like this. And please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I really screw up most of the time. I do like 20 takes of this. Okay, so I'm just gonna say what I always say in every single video. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My hair. The okay. sweat is like ugh. leaves are not comfy. Leaves are not comfy, guys. Yes. Say no, what do you mean? I think it's like a I think it's like a it's annoying. Kind of like noise though. It's a good song. Okay. I know you're not feeling it. Sorry. Never blow on your brushes. Please never blow on your brushes. You can blow other things, just don't oh, blow your brushes. Okay.